Welcome back. It's Morag Gamble from our Permaculture Life and the Permaculture Education Institute. And today I'm in my kitchen again, and we're going to be looking at a way that you can actually eliminate another stream of um, non-recyclable things that include plastics in them that, um, that perhaps tend to clutter your recycling section. And what I'm talking about is those uh, non-milk milks. Now, one of the ones that you can do is hemp milk. Because if you're not drinking dairy and you tend to either get soy milk, oat milk, almond milk, any of those kind of milks, they always come in those one litre non-recyclable containers. Now you can use them as planters, but there's only so many you can have. We actually do have, um, we're part of a, a dairy collective here, which means that once a week we go out and we milk the cows and we have enough milk to make the cheese and the yogurt and, and things. But I'm becoming a little bit dairy intolerant. Um, I find it sort of not so great for my breathing. So I'm really looking at other sorts of milks. And I really find it challenging to buy those little Tetra Pak kind of things. So I've been exploring with different sort of milks, um, you know, for one of a, another word. So one of the ones that I use is, is hemp. And hemp seed you can turn so easily into some kind of milk alternative. So all you need is some seeds. So I'm just going to put some in the bottom, maybe just enough to cover the bottom. A date or two, pop that in. A little bit of uh, vanilla essence, and it goes. And then water. So I'm just going to pour that in. Now, unlike some of the other milks that you make, the nut milks, this one, you actually don't really need to strain because it goes so fine anyway. You can if you want to make it smoother, but I find this is just absolutely fine like this. So um, screw the lid on. I mean, you can do this in a, in a blender or even a food processor, but I find these sort of little Nutribullet things really uh, super helpful. All right, excuse the noise again. Okay, let's give it a taste test. Now, if it's not to your liking, you can simply add a little bit more date or you could even put in some honey or some maple syrup if you like or a little bit, maybe a bit of cinnamon or nutmeg. All right, let's have a taste of this. Nice and creamy. There we are, let's have a taste. Mmm, that is so nice. It really has a lovely creamy taste. It's not too sweet and only just a subtle hint of vanilla there. So this is what you can use uh, to put on if you have some porridge in the breakfast or um, if you like to make yourself a cup of coffee or make a, a turmeric chai. Um, this is something that you can use and you can actually source the hemp seeds um, bulk in a, in a health food store. You can do the scoops if you've got a, a store like that or you can buy them in a big bulk bag and actually keep them for a long time. So sometimes it's about just sort of upsizing the bag that you get so you're not, not going through so many little bags. And that way um, you can be making your own milk of all different sorts, super simply, and um, not creating all the waste of the, of the bags. Now something like this will last, um, you know, up to a week in the fridge. Uh, if you keep it in a nice sealed container, I've got some nice glass jars that I put it in and then it just goes into the fridge and by the time I finished it, then I come out and it's like, like you can see it. It's a super simple thing. It's far quicker than walking down the aisle of, um, of going and collecting all those soy milks and, and other milks. And, and if you've seen the price too of hemp milk, it's well over $6 Australian dollars. So this seems like a great way, I think, of actually making milk alternatives. So join me again tomorrow and I think I'll be back in the kitchen again looking at another way that you can reduce plastics uh, just in your daily life, uh, even though we're in the pandemic, some ways that we can take another stream out of our life. Now, if you also want some more information, I've connected them in down below, things like my blog and my YouTube channel, and also uh, a new four-part permaculture series that's free, uh, as well as information about the online courses that I have, the Incredible Edible Garden and also the Permaculture Educators Program, which includes a permaculture design certificate and a permaculture teacher certificate. So join me again tomorrow and um, send in too any tips that you have about making your favourite milk 
that is uh, using either nuts or seeds or some kind of protein like the uh, like the hemp seeds. All right, I'll catch you again tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. See you.